Hello and welcome to another surfing video and change of format. In the last recent the recent last few weeks I've been getting so many copyright strikes. So I'm recording surfing videos over and over again and it's taking me hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start editing them. It's unfortunate because I lose a little bit of spontaneity. Uh, but, you know, we have to compromise. So yeah, let me know in the comment section whether this format is okay. There's nothing much I can do about it, but I'd like to know if I could improve it in some way. If you've got any advice or comments to let me know, just comment, you know. First one up, control. Visual recreation set. By disarmed. Looking forward to seeing this. Let's have a quick look. The following visuals were created on X on text. Disarmed. X on text. So let's have a look. Reflections. Nice. Nice. There's something about a leather seat and a red phone. Isn't there? Isn't that weird? The red phone. Bounce. Okay, yeah. I kind of like it without the bounce, actually. Hmm. And grayscale. Nice, nice, next scene. That's a good scene, isn't it? I like that floor. I love that floor and the reflections. That looks like that's slightly wet there, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. No other controls on this one. That's just a lovely little scene. I'm looking forward to having a bit of a stroll around your level, Disarmed. Just to see what sort of level it is. I'd be interested to see the scale of it too. Whether it's going to be set pieces with small areas. Or whether it's going to be a big area. With lots of places and intricate places to explore. be interesting to see. On this level of graphics. I can imagine it's probably smaller locations. Maybe. But that's fine. I do wish that depth of field could be improved, you know. See, I can't help... I don't know what this looks like on the Pro, right? But there's lots of shimmer on the PlayStation 4, on the base PlayStation 4. But yeah, that's marvellous. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Well done, you. You, you're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Disarm's always one to watch. Everyone knows that. I thought as a contrast, this was rather amusing, right? Kitty Powers from Media Molecule. I want to know what your obsession with cakes is all about. I mean, seriously. It's not healthy. Look. All these cakes. If you want to catch him making these cakes, just check uh, Twitch out. I, I watched him make a few of these. I watched them make the baton big. But yeah, great stuff. <laughs> it's just a strange obsession, isn't it, really? Of all the things you can create in dreams, what you create is cakes. Like nice strawberries. But doesn't that just make you feel a little bit hungry? Luckily, luckily I've gone off sweet, so it makes me feel a little bit queasy, to be honest. All that sweetness and all those colours. But yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. It's fantastic stuff. I'll let it go one more for all you cake lovers out there. Could we call it 
Cake porn, perhaps? Maybe not. Maybe not. Kitty wouldn't approve. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> the fact, right. We're looking at cakes. We're looking at cakes. Remember that, folks. We're looking at cakes. And look at all these dramatic camera angles for cakes. <laughs> oh, God, it amuses me. Ah, oh, one more, one more, one more. Let's see the next dramatic angle for a cake. <laughs> Maybe hard drama in Kitty's house is actually making cakes. And we're back to the original shot. Very nice, Kitty. Very nice indeed. Very nice. It's a little bit strange. Next up is Death Stranding. Bridges Room. By Nana Halka. Ah, quick look there. I think this is just an environment. I'm not sure. Oh yes, it is. Very good. Very good. Oh, we can press. Oh no, turn it off. And that probably won't get me a copyright strike. But I'm not risking it. I'm having to do these slightly different if you hadn't noticed. I'm getting sick of getting copyright strikes. So... Yeah, this is the format, the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is the format I'm testing out. I'm have full control over what I show and what I don't. I like the randomness. That was the thing that I enjoyed, but... You know, we've just got to go with the flow, haven't we? Nice. There's the baby. This little baby. I think that's going to be quite controversial in some sectors, you know. You think about it. You think about that. There's a lot of questions to be asked. A lot of questions that I can see cropping up. Uh, questions I don't really want to discuss in the Mini Molecule Dreams video but I'm sure the more sort of um, informed people out there will know the sort of questions I mean anyway what we got here then 20 minutes of love 20 minutes of love well it's quite ambitious <laughs> oh got a film to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. William Blake. Very nice. Very nice words, William. Very nice indeed. Ah, uh, we're in the shower. That's cool. This is cool, man. I like this. What have we got here? Is this another one I can interact with? No. Yeah, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very nice indeed. Very nice. And next up is Ignorance and Fix by Dream Schooler. That rings a bell and may well have liked Dream Schooler in the past. That rings a bell. Usually animations. So we'll give this a look. This pear-shaped individual is named Steven. Early 20s out in his own and he, like everyone, mm. wants to do better for himself. I have my cup of tea. At the moment, he has a pretty stable job, lives in his own, and actually wants to forge himself a better future. Same house, same car, same Steven, literally nothing has changed. He had the motivation, the grit, the self-confidence, and the savings fund to back up a decision he would have made, but he never made any decision because of some preventable problem. 
Stephen was ignorant. He tried, but he and the people he associated with just didn't know how to help him. And that could be blamed onto a lot of things. The school system, his parents, just random distractions. But I don't think that's the core of the issue. It's about speed! <clears throat> and you know, I know it's kind of obvious. But the cure to ignorance is information. What's really not so obvious is how people obtain that information. And that's what I hope to provide you in this video. And because that process is a set of self questions, I also ask you to take out something you can write on so you can participate. And if not for yourself, then maybe for some of the other people watching this video, because your answers could always help them figure themselves out. And please remember to be honest with yourself. Okay, let's begin. I have to say, you've Number got a one, really... Ask the question. What ignorance are you personally willing to learn about? And for some people... Natural writing I want ability. to figure out what to do in life. And for Steven, that question would be... How do I destroy capitalism? What the fuck? How do I find God? Um... Finding a career that I will love for all of eternity. Expectations too high. How do I find yeah. employment? Sorry. Not You're exceptionally that. good. Fine. Um, finding employment that'll be better for me in the long term. You got it. <clears throat> okay, for the people participating, you can pause the video now to answer the questions for yourself. And also, feel free to skip any of the steps if you feel they are sufficiently redundant to what you're trying to fix. Also, let me just... uh. You've also got a really natural, easy way of saying things. Number two, set up boundaries and give assumptions. Nothing forced. First off, if you want to fix your writing fast and, and your narrative, you're going to need isn't forced. To set up some boundaries. It's pretty because damn brilliant, actually. You know, taking every learning opportunity seems like a good decision on the surface. When you do I don't that, mean to patronize. I do apologize if that came over as patronizing. Away the time you have from what your actual aim is. At least if you try to do them both at the same time. Distractions. I just say it as it is. I can't help it. Kills focus. So when you notice one, write it down and make it your job to avoid it. Or if that learning opportunity is really something special, just avoid it until sometime later in the future. And those questions would be, what tempting opportunities do I want to avoid? And what opportunities should I avoid until a later date? By the way, this is one of the most important steps for me personally because... I want to do everything I can. I want to make videos, design games, create apps, but if I tried to do all of them, none of them would go anywhere. So I pushed them all to a later date so I can focus on this one goal, videos. And lastly, I strongly suggest you make at least some assumptions in what ignorance you're trying to fix because those assumptions are what you're going to try and challenge. And when you finish all of this, you can look back to see whether or not your assumption was right, whether it could use some fixing, or if it should be removed entirely and replaced with something better. As a question, that would be, what do you assume is or could be the case about what I'm ignorant about? Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's <laughs> foot fungus, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. <laughs> Number three, investigate. Step one of the investigation is to find your. I can't listen to it all, but man, you are good. Dream school, did I follow you? No, I didn't. Well, you followed now, okay? Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. And here we have a drift, a disarmed remix by JC04TU. These snazzy names. Let's see what it sounds like. Now you see now, this is where those filters and those filmic effects work.
This is quite a nice remix, actually, isn't it? Nice. I like this. I like that. Yes, I'm a simple person. I like this little touch as well. What's the exit? That little countdown on it. Very nice. Definitely get a thumbs up from me. You already have. I'm going to reset that. Mind you, now that then when I use the filter, it's just going to give me the same one again. That no, I'll leave it as it is. Yeah, I love that. That's really well done. Really well done. Here we have the nest by Vitamin Vitamin G ninety. Personally, I called this person Vitamin ninety. You get a like from me because I do like you. They did say they were going to separate the G away from the word vitamin eventually so that people weren't confused. So at least I, I know I wasn't the only one who got it wrong. Now, what effect are you using there? The first thing I ask myself when I see an effect is, does it bring anything to the table? Does it any in any way remove what you're intending to create? What mood are you trying to create? Or is it just an effect for the sake of an effect? Very nice though, isn't it? And that was it. Okay. I'll reset that in case you add more. But yeah, that's nice. Very nice indeed. I like it. Just want to just double check I'm following you. I am. And here we have uh, The Investigator by... Lizard Blunt for 20. Let's have a look. Have we got many levels of this? I always do this. I like to check to see if there's an, a, a decent amount of work gone into it. Doesn't always matter. I'm just, I just do that out of habit. Triangle. Investigate the house. This is nice. This is nice. You've got an effect on the screen now. Again, I'm going to say, you see this pixelation there? Graphics are crawling a bit, so maybe you've got pixelation. Yeah, pixelation on. I would ask yourself, do you really need it? Does it bring anything to the table? Although you have done it in a really subtle way. It's not, it, yeah, so it's not too bad. It's just that it crawls because it's not static pixels. As I've said before, it's fine for static images because you don't see the crawl. This is exceptionally good. I would, I would seriously consider 
removing that pixel effect, effect and replacing it with the grain effect. The grain effect is fine. Yeah, that's what I'd do. I think grain effect would work better, you know. Oh, that would mean recording. It's everywhere. But this is lovely. Maybe widen that beam a little bit. Give the torch a bit more scope. But this is... I love the atmosphere. You've got... I love that ambient sound in the background too. I mean, I don't know if it's being picked up by Share Factory very well. What it tends to do. When you're recording in Share Factory, it prioritises your recording. So it... it I wish Media Molecule had sort that volume problem out. I don't have this problem with No Man's Sky. In fact, they have to turn the volume down on No Man's Sky. Oh, touch book. Very nice. You must find the diary page. Eh, go away. Oh, it could be there, couldn't it? E. Oh, yeah. Copyright, 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 copyright. I don't think you get a copyright for that, actually. I seem to recall hearing that in a few things and it's not being copyright striked. So, touch book. I've touched the book. I'm looking for the diary. Right, now, I can't see with this light, but is that door? It is. This is cool, this is cool, but I would definitely consider replacing that pixelation look, that pixel look, with the grain filter. There's got, it's, this character's a little bit noir. The setting feels a little bit noir, and that grain effect would add, I think. You could even change the saturation slightly. Make it a little bit more sepia. But yeah, I like it. I like it. Very well done. And there's a character T E E three fifty nine Scrappy. Scrappy. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at you, Scrappy. Have you got character? Oh got a plaster over one eye. Well, nice, you've got a static animation. Ah, some effort has been made into making it when it uh, changing the move. You might want to take that down a tad, though, in volume. A little excessive. I love the little electric. The electric's going out. I'm going to have to have a look. I'm going to have to have a close look at you. Let's remix you, and let's get this playing. See how you've done that. Well, I think I, I mean, it's obvious how you've done that, actually. Oh, look. Oh, this logic up here, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at all the logic. Ooh, scary stuff, eh? But yeah, there's a lot of... Let me just pause that a second. I like the way you've done this panel in here. From a distance, it looks convincing. You've got a little keyboard here. I mean, oh, I mean seriously, look, he's even got a little keyboard here. My goodness me. No letters on the keyboard, though. You slip in. You slip in. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Excellent. Yeah, definitely. A nice character, that. Very nice character. And here we have something unusual by Reckley Snipes. Now this is pretty amazing. Just look at this, right? Just look at the detail in this. Alright? I mean, seriously. This is crazy. Crazy level of detail. This person knows how to make assets. This person is very obsessed with detail. 
and that's a good thing. I mean, look at the blooming, look at this. Look at this meal, right? Look at it. It's not just a suggestion of a steak. Chips and peas, carrots, and whatever that is. It's not just a suggestion. It's actually made every single one of them. And look at these. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> You're a nutter. The microwave's got a little light on it. He did mention something about a cup of tea. It was a tip towards me. I think it might be that, is it? That could be it. A little cup of tea. Because I'm always talking about tea. So he's added it into the scene for me. Bless you, little cotton socks. Thank you. Thank you very much. And look at the curtains. Look at these curtains. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what this person is going to be making in the future? You've already seen one creation by his. But can you imagine the level of detail? You can't open these cupboards. Slipped up, slipped up. But look at it. I mean, come on. Look. Look, that's a rather thick roll that you get through that quite quickly. But what a, what I mean, all these assets, every single one of them. I'm I'm assuming he, uh, he's allowing the community to use these. Oh, it's into the wall there, man. <gasps> Look, it's gone into the wall. These carrots don't look healthy. I think they've been a bit, a little bit too long. You should have sculpted those last, man. And these slices, look, look, I don't like that. Do you see, this is what, well, this is me, right? This is how obsessively, I am, how obsessively observant I am. I see all sorts of little things, and I would look around this for hours. I mean, look at this. Well, a condiment set. Look at it. Look. Look at it. I mean, these things, these little things hanging. Look how he's even bothered to put folds in them. Look, it's only an illusion, but it works. Rolling pin. Fridge with magnets and messages. Cooker. Plate racks. I mean, how has he made that plate rack? I mean, look at it. Look, even the plates are only an illusion, illusion too, but it doesn't matter. And you've got, look at it. Look. Oh, wow. Just wow, man, he's even got. Look, I mean, seriously, now I could look around this for hours. It's, oh, look. Look at that bit of cloth hanging over there with the scouring pad. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I bet your wife sits there thinking. I bet he's, I bet he's making this in dreams. What are you asking about the scouring pad for? Uh, nothing, darling. <laughs> oh, one day she'll appear in dreams too. Ooh, that'll be the day. Yeah, that's wonderful. Love it. The Lost Temple by N. Bayala. I think that's how you say it. Let's have a look at this. I had a quick look, obviously, because that's the whole point in me editing now. Just to make sure that I didn't go very far. I just want to make sure there's nothing copyright-ish about it. And that is a legitimate word. Don't question me on that. It's in a dictionary. Yes, this is how far I got. And you go down here. And you go there, look. Well, I think you're supposed to have gone right round there. You might want to make sure people can't do that. And they do have to actually backtrack and go through there. Well, this is quite a nice environment. It's amazing, the sound. Isn't it amazing how sound is important? Listen to that. Probably not going to be able to hear it very well. Just brings it to life. And this is a good example of how to create a level and a, 
a location that's dark but doesn't lose focus on what the objectives are you can still see you still get a sense of presence and a sense of where you are that's lovely isn't it that's a lovely little ambient sound you got bringing in it brought in there oh I can go upstairs this is excellent this is absolutely lovely this is lovely this is very well done see that you see look you see the silhouettes even though this is dark we've got a wall here so we can't make any mistakes there and we know there's an edge there because it's silhouetted even though it's completely dark bit of thought has gone into this this has just been thrown together having said that I appear to be lost I think maybe this is just a prop or oh, not a prop just a, an extra bit of location I'm gonna I'm gonna go back down just in case I miss something down here maybe a lever I like this this is lovely this is lovely in fact it's so good I may well Oh, well, there you go, then. Okay. So... Whoa! Okay. So now I have to go up. Now something will probably have fallen. This is, this is exceptionally well made. This is exceptionally well made. Now! My goodness. Oh my word. That is clever. I'm following you as soon as I finish this. Look at this, how you reveal the door. Now I don't... Now I, now I don't know if I'm supposed to drop down there. I am. Can I get up here? Right. Ah, this is the one place you've let yourself down a bit. It's a bit dark here. There's not just... As I was just saying in the other room. Now there is no sense of an edge... Oh, this is exceptionally done. Well done. I don't believe how good this is. Just what I would limit the the player, though. Oh, wait a minute. I'm back here. This is the start again. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Am I perhaps supposed to have gone somewhere else? Oh, well, never mind. Just a couple of teething problems, but yeah, this is exceptionally well made, man. Absolutely love it. I love this. I love that to death. I've got to check. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna reset you. No. Right. Let me have a look. Let me go over to you. I don't want to follow the creator. Creation. Right. Six followers. Criminal. Criminal. Six followers. Come on, folks. We've got seven followers now, okay? Excellent. That's my new format. Well, as I said, please let me know if you like it. And share and like and... Subscribe and all that good stuff. Help me out. Because, as I say, my success is in your hands. And all I've got left to say is... Fairly well. Tootle pip. Au revoir. And all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you on the next one.